Hi guys, I am back to read some more of Miss Daisy is Crazy, the book by Dan Gutman. And um, we started reading and we met AJ and some of his classmates who just started second grade. And today we're starting on chapter three and the title of the chapter is How to Spell Read. Before school started, my mother told me that second grade was the most interesting grade because this was the year that I would be able to read chapter books all by myself. I already knew how to read, even though I had tried very hard not to learn. You see, my friend Billy told me that you really don't have to know how to read. Billy says that when you grow up and make lots of money, you can pay people to read for you. That sounded good to me. I hate reading. I announced when Miss Daisy passed out some spelling worksheets. Me too, agreed Miss Daisy. You do, we all asked. Yup, she said, I can't read a word. You can't? Nope. You can't even spell the word read? Michael Robinson asked. I don't have a clue, she said, scratching her head the same way she did when she told us she didn't know how to multiply four times four. Just sound it out, Miss Daisy, Andrea suggested. Read, Miss Daisy said, R-E-E-D. No, we all shouted. I give up, she said. Do any of you know how to spell the word read? R-E-A-D, we all chanted. Wow. I didn't know that, marveled Miss Daisy. You have taught me a lot today. How did you get to teach second grade if you don't even know how to spell read? Asked Ryan. Well, I figured that second graders don't know how to spell very well, so it wouldn't matter whether or not I could spell. <laughs> I know how to spell lots of hard words, Andrea Young announced. Me too, everybody else said. Really, Miss Daisy said, like what? Everybody started shouting out words and how to spell them, but Miss Daisy stopped us and made us take turns. She had each of us go up to the chalkboard and write three words we knew. I wrote tonight, writing, and McDonald's. By the time we were done, the whole chalkboard was filled with words. There wasn't even any room left for more. Wow, Miss Daisy said, you kids have taught me so much this morning. I'm really glad I decided to become a teacher. What do you all think? Do you think that she really doesn't know how to do that? Or do you think she's just trying to find out what the kids know? Let's find out. Chapter four, Miss Daisy is crazy. In the lunchroom, I opened my lunchbox and saw that my mom had packed me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I traded it with Michael Robinson for his potato chips. Everybody was talking about Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy is crazy, Ryan said. She's the weirdest teacher I ever had, said Emily. She can't read, she can't write, and she can't even do arithmetic. What kind of a teacher is that? A bad one, I said. Hey, I just thought of something, Michael Robinson was able to say, even though his mouth was filled with peanut butter. Do you think that maybe Miss Daisy isn't really a teacher after all? What do you mean, Ryan asked. Maybe she's an imposter. An imposter? What's that, I ask? Somebody who imposts? No, silly. An imposter is somebody who pretends to be somebody else, Andrea explained. She might be a fake teacher. Maybe Miss Daisy is really a jewel thief or a bank robber, I guessed. Maybe she snuck into the school and is hiding so the police won't catch her. I think you're the one who's crazy, Andrea giggled, choking on her milk. And here's the picture of all the friends sitting and eating their lunch as they discuss Miss Daisy. But what if Miss Daisy was a bank robber? Or she could be a horse thief, or a cattle rustler, or somebody who parks where there is a yellow line on the curb. My head was starting to fill with all kinds of awful things Miss Daisy could be. Maybe Miss Daisy kidnapped our real teacher and is holding her for ransom, I suggested. Wow, you think so, Emily asked, looking all scared. What's ransom, asked Ryan. My mom tells me I'm handsome, Michael Robinson claimed. Not handsome, ransom, said Andrea. 
I don't know what it is, but whenever somebody is kidnapped, they get held for it. In cartoons, people who get kidnapped are always tied up to railroad tracks, I reminded everybody. Maybe our real teacher is tied up to some railroad tracks right now. We've got to save her, said Emily, as she went running out of the lunchroom. Wait a minute, said Michael Robinson. That doesn't make sense. If Miss Daisy can't even read or do arithmetic, how is she going to be able to kidnap a teacher and tie her to a railroad tracks? She doesn't look like a kidnapper to me, Ryan said. We should tell Principal Klutz, said Andrea. He'll know what to do. No, I shouted. Don't you see how good we have it? If we tell Principal Klutz how dumb Miss Daisy is, he will fire her and replace her with a real teacher, a real teacher who knows reading and writing and arithmetic. We'll have to learn all that stuff. You don't want that, do you? No way, said Michael Robinson. I don't care if she is an imposter or a bank robber or a kidnapper. I like her. I say we keep her. Me too, Michael Robinson agreed. I think she's cool. Okay. Let's not tell anybody, anybody I said, it will be our little secret. All right, guys, we're going to pause there. And when we get together next time, we will read chapter five, the most genius idea, and see what happens with Miss Daisy. See you next time.